We gotta ask Melvin who these turkeys belong to, who these chickens belong to. Just walking around the street. Amazing. I think in the United States, they would scoop them up and just take off. That's a big one. Wow. There's chickens everywhere. Well, the good thing about uh, Melvin speaking English and Spanish and being from the Dominican Republic is that uh, he knows pretty much everything about the Dominican Republic and I know he can answer these questions. So stay tuned for Ask Melvin uh, on chickens and roosters. I don't know what they call them in Spanish, but uh, I know on my plate is called pollo. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, y'all. Okay, everybody, we are back. Uh, we are on our first episode of Ask Melvin, uh, Real Dominican. And I wanted to know what was going on with all these chickens and hens and everything. So uh, we're gonna always ask Melvin, a real Dominican, because in the United States, uh, these uh, chickens and hens will probably disappear and somebody will take them. They eat on the road, they eat on the side of the street. And uh, we know in the United States, they're all cooped up and everything, but I always see them in the morning. So this is our first episode of Ask Melvin. And uh, we have uh, we have Melvin with us. And Melvin, uh, hey, good morning, bro. How you doing? How you doing, bro? Fine. All right. Okay, so... We all want to know in the United States, uh, they have chickens and hens walking up and down the street, but in the United States, uh, they would probably steal them or take them and, uh, you know, we don't know who they belong to. So who does these chickens and hen belong to? And I'll let you explain how it works in the Dominican Republic. Okay. Well, basically, you know, good morning, everybody. This hen here in the Dominican Republic is different from the United States. Uh -huh. Like you told me in the United States, they are like everywhere, but in here. As you can see, each house has a yard. Okay. And those men belong to the people that are, you know, in this house. For example, in the greenhouse, maybe this hen belong to that house. Okay. In the night, at the end, at uh, 7 o'clock, more or less, when they go to sleep, they go back again to the same people's yard. So they, they belong they, to somebody. So they know exactly what house to go back to. Exactly. Like, like a dog or a cat or exactly. something, like a pet. Imagine, like, for example, look, you see a dog there? Yes. It goes to its house uh, <laughs> later on, and the hen does the same thing. None of them get lost. They go exactly to the same, up to another house. For example, look at that one there. Okay. You see that one there? Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. Uh-huh. That one there belongs to another yard, somebody else in the night. It mm -hmm. goes to the owner again. Okay, okay. Man, that is amazing. So, so they're not lost, and, uh, and so this might be a crazy question. And I, I would never do it because, right. I, but if I was to take one of those chickens and go upstairs and cook it and clean it and, and take it and somebody see me take one of their hens, well, what, what would happen to me? Oh, well, you, you can do it, but later on you will be in trouble because <laughs> they will break your head, you know? <laughs> you know, they will. So, because, you can, but... because, because it's, it doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to you, you can't. You yes, can. I can't take it. If somebody you can catch, go to the jail, I can go to jail if somebody yeah. if I take somebody chicken on the street. Exactly, because <laughs> they want you know they belong to people. For example, like I told you before, each people in their yard they got animal. Mm -hmm. Animal goes out in the night. They go back again to the the place they belong to. Awesome, if awesome. If you take them, you will be in trouble. I'll be in trouble. <laughs> well, thanks yeah. a lot, Melvin. And uh, this is our first episode of Ask 
don't ask me, ask Melvin, a true Dominican. So thanks so much, Melvin. Hey, tell us about the uh, the trip we got coming up uh, next week. Oh yeah, yes, we're going to Samana to Cayo Levantado. We're going to go to see the whales, the, the blue whales that come from every wall, every part in the world. They come to this place to gather babies born. And we're gonna have an amazing experience. So just for you to know, you can follow us and got a great time with us. And give give them your uh, your YouTube and your Twitter and all in your account. All right, you can follow me on the YouTube is El Piloto Tour the channel, and also on Instagram you can go El Piloto Tour, and you can get a great experience and share with us. Awesome, awesome. And one more thing, you said this place we're going is an island within an island. Oh uh, yeah, that's an island, for example, that's in the north part of the Dominican Republic and uh, it got an island separated from this island. So we're gonna take a boat and we're gonna have, oh sorry. Oh, that's okay. We're gonna have an amazing time because when you take the boat, everything that you see around you is just the blue ocean. Oh you don't man. See nobody, anything else. I can't, I can't wait, I'm excited. So thanks a lot, Melvin, and we'll, we'll see you guys next week on the tour and uh, this is another episode of Ask Melvin. Thanks a lot. All right. Have Take a good care. time, people. All right. Bye-bye.